Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching Fruitech today we are presenting the most fluid and customizable rom for all android devices called as extended xt this custom rom official available for lots of oem devices like the lenovo xiaomi nothing oneplus and realme you can find your device download links of all above supported brands in the video description but today i will review the latest build by the extended team for my oneplus 9rt Thanks for the developers of 9RT, Inferno, Mrinmede and the whole the team for bringing this amazing ROM. Remember this video featuring only 9RT installation and some device specific features for OnePlus devices only. Rest is same for all the devices so we have to get proper flashing process of your own device. I also added their flashing instruction links under the video description. You can ask me any questions regarding your device at the contact links given under the video description. If you are new to our channel then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of such amazing ROMs for the, all the devices. As I am using the 9RT you need to download these files like the boot, DTPO, vendor boot and full ROM zip file. Your device must have the Oxonus 12 and above on the both the slots. You can refer the flashing instruction given in iCard video if you are coming from the Oxonus 12. But if you are on the Oxonus 13 or any version above it like I am using the Oxonus 13 F14 build then flash its full OTA package one more time while local install as you can check in the video. So that firmware become available on the both the slots. Your device bootloader must be unlocked and USB debugging enabled. Now boot your device in a fast boot mode. Then flash the boot, vendor boot and DTBO. Now boot the device in a recovery using the volume and power buttons of your phone. In a recovery tap apply update and select apply update from the ADB. Then type ADB side load in a CMD and drag the full ROM zip file. Flashing get started. Once done tap back arrow key in a recovery. Then tap factory set and select format data and then reboot. Other devices user must follow their own device flashing instructions. Today in this video we will thoroughly check out about phone section of this ROM to check its details information regarding the security patch, kernel version etc. Then I will check all the basic functions properly working or not. Other device users please watch it carefully and follow that steps on your device. Then I did the performance, jitter and stability test. Lastly, I shown what are the amazing features this ROM offers along with the some bugs that may vary as per your device. So watch the video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. Once flashing got done and phone boots with this flashy boot animation of project extended, which looks cool. Go through the complete first time setup of the device. ROM didn't have the pixel launcher but it has the minimalistic extended home launcher. Let's check out about phone. Once you tap on the about phone extended logo animation pops up at the top, which looks very cool. In the version tab it's showing it's Android 13 with the murder you clocked easter egg. ROM version is XT 5.0. Security patch is of 5th February 2023. Other devices security patch and the ROM version may vary because for all the devices this version may not be released. Kerna version is 5.4.226. This version also varies for the different devices but project extended team using the latest updated kernel stream for all the devices and build them using the optimized Clang toolchain for faster performance of the ROM. Now let's start the second part that is what's working. It's very important question because basic function that I'm going to show you if they are working then your custom ROM called as a daily driver. So watch this and check it for your own device. Is it daily driver build for you or not? In case of 9RT, WAF and WAF hotspot are working well with the stable network connections. Next is the Bluetooth. It's working with the all the HD audio codecs like SBC, ACC, APTX and LDAC. I tested it with the S-Foss Crystal earbuds, these are the best earbuds under the 5K Indian rupees, which has outstanding battery life, you can check its review video from the iCard. Next is the NFC and the GPS location, both are working and they are perfect. 5G network for the all the sims are supporting, Wi-Fi calling is available and it's working. VLT incoming and outgoing calls are working. 
call recording function is available under the dialer call records will not be found under the call log but it will be available in the file manager and under the call recording folder face unlock and android display fingerprint both are working and both are accurate and blazing fast google photos application has the unlimited photo backup working off screen and the on screen hey google voice activation is working next i did all the sensor tests i have given the sensor test application link under the video description you can check the essential sensors for your device using this application essential sensors like the accelerometer light sensor proximity magnetometer compass gyroscope all are working fine except barometer if your device has this sensor then it may get pause 9RT didn't have this sensor. Another important sensor can be checked using the device info application. Its link is given under the video description. First is the ear proximity. It's working for the 9RT. Microphone is also working. Ear speaker that can be used while the calling is working. Loudspeaker, camera flashlight, both are working. Multitouch for the display is working. Display test also got passed without any date pixel. Hope you tested your own device sensor as I shown. Now it comes the most important part that is the camera. ROM comes with the Lineage OS Griffin camera application. It's pretty basic camera application. ROM Datum comes with the stock camera application. But if your device maintainer ported the stock ROM camera, it may be available for your device. An official maintainer of 9RT Minmai Day will release the ROM build with the stock Oxonus camera soon. But for now, I installed the Google Gcam MGC build version number 8.7.250. Its link is given under the video description. You can install it and check the features like I tested in this video. Remember, some of them may or may not work for your device. Nightscape mode is working for the night photo shooting. Portrait mode for the both the front selfie and the main camera are working. HDR Plus mode is available and it has the frame control and different tunables. Let's check the video shooting. Slow motion is not working. It's causing the forced close of camera application. But the time lapse video recording is working well. Wide angle camera modes only working for the 0.6x, 0.9x causing the camera view blank. 4K step face recording is not working. It's only available for the 180p 60fps. Both the panorama mode and photo sphere modes are working. Video stabilization is available and it's working. So overall camera is pretty stable for the OnePlus 9RT. Next very important part is the safety net. Download the Asnax safety net app from the video description. Tap safety net check. And if it's showing all the things as a pass, then congratulations on your device. You can run all the banking and security applications without any issues. For 9RT it's successful. Next is to check the device storage encryption for that. Go under the security setting of the phone. If it's showing the encrypted, then your device data is secured. If your pin locked device got stolen or misplaced, no one can decrypt its password and steal your important data. Now it's time to test the CPU and the GPU performance. Remember the results may vary as per your device. Let us comment in the comment section with your score and device name, which is running extended XT. Device mostly runs on the top FPS that is 120Hz. But if you enable the force peak high refresh rate in the developer setting, device constantly runs on the 120Hz but some applications like the camera, YouTube video playback drops FPS to the 60FPS. Check your own device FPS rate as I tested here. Now let's run the Geekbench 6 test. App link is given under the video description. I got the score of 1449 and 3574 for the single and multi core respectively. These are the jaw dropping results till the date I got on any custom ROM for the OnePlus 9RT. Obviously these results reflect in the real life performance, ROM is feeling more buttery than the real butter. Similarly for the OpenGL graphics API I got the score of 375 while for the Hulkan graphics API I got the score of 4894. Both these scores are not good but they are good. Overall, device performance in real life usage is stunning. Apps opening, closing, switching between applications, RAM management, everything is right on the path. Now let's move to the another performance related test that is the jitter test. It's directly related with the scrolling and swapping actions of your device. Lower the volume, more battery and the jitter free scrolling your device will fail. I have given the app link under the video description. You can use that to test your device results. For OnePlus devices, you will find this test under the OnePlus setting. 
when you run this test blue line graph must remains near the 0.5 millisecond value 0.5 to 1 value of this test is very good it's okay up to the 2.5 or 3 but more than that means your device firmware has the gtd display here 9rd perform outstanding it stays between the 0.5 in the whole days now it's time to test the cpu performance stability during the heavy task and the higher temperatures we all know that at during heavy tasks like the games temperature of device rises which causes the cpu throttling and device performance gods fallen down and it fails like sometimes so we'll test the cpu throttling using this application its link is given under the video description i ran the test for the five minutes on the 20 threads you can also test this on your device but don't run it more than the five minutes check the device cpu temperature before test it's normal it's ranging between 40 to 50 degrees celsius if it's more cool down the device first and then run the test in the holder test i did not see any single yellow or the red lines which represents drop in a performance at last after stopping the test i got to score of 93 percent which is amazing score so it's confirmed that extended xt team has done amazing job with cpu governors which reduces the cpu throttling and maintaining the device performance tell your device score if it's ranging between 85 to 95 it's very good score after the test you will feel device is warmer on the back and device temperature rises above 50 degrees celsius but it's cool and down immediately after the test it's a normal process now we'll show you the amazing customization this rom offers and it will be available for the all the devices rom has the separate customization tab under the main setting of the phone called as the extensions all the customizations are categorized here in the different tabs let's check out the unique features one by one first is the ambient decor for the customizations of your always on display here we get the music ticker which displays the currently running songs name on the always on display Edge light is a colored light notification on the edges of the display during the AOD and on the lock screen. It has lots of tunable and is working fine. There is a tab called as the ambient always on display customization. Here you can add the ambient text. You can tune its size, position, colors with the animations. You can add the custom images on the always on display. Use AMOLED black colored pictures which looks cool on the always on display. I have given the link of AMOLED wallpapers under the video description. Remember all these AOD features may cause the more battery drain. Under the animation tabs we get the screen of animations along with the quick setting tile animations. Quick setting tile animations are just amazing. Under the buttons tab we get the volume panel, position toggle like the left or the right. Music control and volume rocker wake up has some issues for the 9RT that we will show you under the bug section at the end of this video. It may or may not work for your device, so test it yourself. Under the gesture tab, we get some gesture features. Not all the Pixel device gestures are available here, but some of them like the quickly open camera, one-handed mode, press and hold power button for the Google Assistant, these are implemented. In the lock screen tab, we get the customizations of lock screen left and right shortcuts. Under display fingerprint option has the custom icons and a different animation. For custom icons, use the AMOLED pictures. For animation, we get the bunch of different animation style which looks cool. Music Pulse is available and is working on the lock screen and now bar. Under the navigation setting, we get the system navigation. Here under the advanced setting, we get the age long swipe back gesture customizations. You can set the different activities for the back gesture if they swipe for the long duration. Under the power menu option, we get the setting to add multiple shortcuts for the power menu. In the quick setting tiles, we get the height tile label. To make it work, we need to restart the system UI using the advanced power menu. QS tiles has the bunch of the funky styles. You can check them as on the screen. Background transference is slider giving the transparent loot to the QS panel which looks outstanding. Under the theme room we get the advanced dark mode which has the custom themes but I especially like the transparent background look which applies the pictures of currently running wallpaper as the background of your system setting. 
Monet Engine tab helps to tune the ascent colors of your device. We get the bunch of Wi-Fi icons, signal icons, font style. Here you can find the Nothing Dot font exclusive from the Nothing Phone One. Bunch of the app drawer application styles are available. Under the lost screen clock font style, I personally liked this road rage clock font, which gives the cool look to your lost screen and always on display. We can change the lost screen clock style as the single line and double line. Under the extras, we get the game space to tune the different setting of your game. We get the parallel space setting. By using this, we can add different users, and under them, we can add duplicate applications for all users and the system applications. Who gets the unlock higher FPS toggle if you want to play the games at 90 FPS? Actually, I didn't try this, but you can try it for the different application and let us know in the comment section is it working for you or not. Except this, if you are using the OnePlus devices, then you get the OnePlus setting. In this, you can customize your alert slider activities for the top, middle, and bottom position. Who gets the power efficient work use toggle to save more battery? KKL display color control option is available, but it's not working for the OnePlus 9RT. It needs the kernel level support to make it work. Per app refresh rate is another very useful feature to assign the different screen refresh rate for any system or user application. Manual and automatic high brightness mode is available along with the lux control. Off-screen touch gesture setting is working. By using this, we can directly open the apps or assign the different shortcut activities. For gamers, you get the one more toggle to enable the 250 Hz touch sampling rate. 9RT supports the 600 touch sampling rate, but in real world, it's actually not works for the all the application. So this setting helps to achieve that goal for gaming applications. I tested the touch sampling rate using the Play Store app. Here, more dotted line means the less touch sampling rate. And less dotted line means the higher touch sampling rate, and it seems working after enabling this tab. Other settings like the vibration control, USB OTG, USB 2.0 fast charge, F synchronizations are not working. Let's check out the launcher customizations. In the home setting of the launcher, under the home screen tab, we get the double tap to sleep on the home screen. Wallpaper scrolling and zooming, headset background, and the theme icons for the dock application is available, and they are working flawlessly. Under the app drawer option, we get the theme icon for the app drawer icons too. Inside the recent tab, we get the RAM toggle, screenshot, lens, pins, applications, and clear all buttons, which can be enabled for the recent panel. Inside the miscellaneous setting, we get the taskbar. I think most of you knows by using the taskbar, we can use all the dock applications anywhere in the system. We can access the shortcuts app drawer. And can use this application as a split screen by dragging them on the currently running application. By using the hidden and protected application setting, we can hide or pin lock any system or user application. So, lastly, most amazing sword mod called as the Dolby Atmos is inbuilt in this ROM, which helps to improve your sound quality to the next level. Who gets the default VR browser application in the app drawer? So we discussed all the things. Now it comes the most crucial part, that is the bugs and the issues. First is the wide wine is on L3, so we can't able to stream the Netflix or the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Next is the music control using the volume button seems not working. Also, volume rocker wake up setting not waking up the device. Media art cover is not working. It's not showing the blur effect for the media notification on the lock screen. Remember, only one issue of wide wine is common for all the devices, except that you may or may not face other bugs. There may be chances different bugs you may face, so let us know in the comment section if you face any other issues. That is for today, guys. Hope you liked my work. Now onwards, I will release such custom ROM videos with the perspective for all the phones, so lots of users can enjoy the custom ROMs on their device. If you think this video helped you, then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.